Hi everyone, it's Winona from Dairy Barn Art and today was supposed to be, um, I try to upload my videos around midnight my time and today I had planned on doing my Marguerite Miller challenge but I've had some health problems the last week or so and yesterday I spent the day in the emergency department at the local hospital and um, found nothing serious. It, um, I, I found out I have div diverticulitis and a few other problems but um, I'm feeling much better today. They gave me a couple of shots of something and some a prescription and so I thought I would do a lighter video today um, where I don't have to think at all and I have been a close to my heart rep for many years. I don't do parties. I don't go out and sell it. I use it because I love the products and I there anything that close to my heart sells I feel is is a quality product they don't sell crap but um, before we start I'm going to do everyday gratitude because I feel like I need it today and today is by Rumi and it is there are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground how might my life change if I believe that every moment is a gift hmm. I didn't feel that well yesterday that it was a gift spending my time in the emergency but anyway something to think of so I purchased some stuff from close to my heart to be a maker you have to have a three hundred dollars of sales in a three-month period and normally I don't have any sales but thankfully someone purchased some um, close to my heart products off my website last week and I thank you very much um, if you do watch me you know who you are and I really appreciate you supporting me I am going to put a link to my Close to My Heart store in the um, description below. And if you're from Canada and you'd like to purchase any Close to My Heart products, I, I would be very thankful if you went through my store and purchased them through there. Um, but anyway, let's get started with my purchases for the my last quarter. I've had this before and I absolutely love this. This is a 12 by 12 mat. And it's kind of meant for scrapbooking, like 12 by 12 pages, and you set it on here and the lines go out a bit so you can line things up and it's a perfect spot to work on if you're scrapbooking. But I like it also because when you flip it over, this is the perfect spot to stamp on. You know when you buy clear stamps and sometimes they don't stamp well? Well, if you stamp them on here, they stamp awesome. So, and mine was all pitted and everything. It, it just got old. So I ordered a new one of these, which I love. I ordered their ink. I'm, I, I try to keep up on all their inks because I really do like them. They have such beautiful colors. So I've ordered this month, I've ordered shortbread and mocha, which are two new colors. And I love their new stamps. I, I have problems with my fingers and I love Stampin' Up too, but I can't get their stamps open. And close to my heart were a similar kind. And by the time I'd get my stamp open, I'd have ink all over me. So these new ones are magnetic. So you just set it down. You can set it in here. You can push in the center like this. And then you can use that to paint from. Um, it's a, like a watercolor finish. But I really love them. And I have their organizer for them. And these will get put away as soon as the video's done. I also like to buy the reinkers right away. That way there, these stamp pads will do me for years. And um, this is their color of the year, Wild Berry. And I bought the reinker for that. And I bought this, the shortbread and the mocha. And I use these reinkers to color paper. I color fabric. I dye fabric with them. I, I definitely use them for all my seam binding. All of this seam binding has been done with close to my heart reinkers until I ran out of seam binding. I was doing two yards or two arms wingspans at a time. So um, I definitely need to do some more colors in that. But that way there, when you're using the inks, it matches automatically. Everything matches. My arms are a little swollen today. They're looking fat. <laughs> anyway, I also bought their... their um, fine line pens because now that I'm doing that Marguerite challenge I would like to outline things I don't know what I was doing there but anyway there's three different this is um, 0 0.05 so that's the thicker one I can't draw a straight line this is 0 0.03 and this is 0 0.01 
So you can see they go down in thickness. So these will be great for outlining um, some of my collage to make it stand out more. So I picked those up. I also picked up for my cutter the their titanium blades. I find they last longer than the other blades. And although I do like, I have a variety of cutters because I don't have one that's perfect. I like this, this is one of my favorite cutters, but the blades go dull quickly. Um, my other cutters, my Tim Holtz guillotine one, I have issues with it because it's my user issue. It's not the guillotine. I had the 12 inch one. I ended up giving it away because I couldn't hold the, I wasn't getting good cuts. And I have a rotary one that I can't see very good. I don't know where I'm cutting and just, you know, I haven't found the perfect cutter yet. <laughs> if anyone knows if there is such a thing, please let me know. I ordered some new stamps. Um, I'm just going to sort these a bit better because some of these are stamp of the month. That's a and what a stamp of the month is, if you put in an order, um, I think it's around $60, you can get a st one of their stamps that are their stamp of the month for that month. Only that month can you get that stamp and you can get it for like 5 or $6. So this is the first stamp set I ordered. And this is your library cards. So I'll take this out here. So this has a nice sized library card stamp and then it's got all the dates and then um, a few words. Um, best on this day ever out happening is weekend night the life at our love today remember next all week month year long p.m. a.m. 45 like for 45 minutes um, yeah pretty cool and then I also got it with the thinlet so the thinlet well is a die and it'll cut that library card out and it'll also make a library card pocket and I had hoped to have um, samples made for it for my video but it just wasn't going to happen so that can get ready that's a gift actually for someone so oh i didn't get it in the right spot there there we go oh where can i put this i have so much stuff beside me so then i ordered this one because i absolutely love that cow it's so cute Oh, and I did order the thinlets with it as well. So it's got, you are utterly wonderful. We heard it's your birthday. Don't have a cow. I moo. I love moo. Love you till the cows come home. That is such a true saying. And then holy cow. But I just fell in love with her. She's so cute. She's so sweet. And it's also got a, a cream can and a milk bucket, a little milk carton, and a bell, a cow bell you could attach there. And then the nice thing about Close to My Heart Thinlets is they come with their own magnetic sheet. So there's the, the Thinlets to cut everything out. And this is in the January-February book. And then um, they have a yearly catalog and then they've got uh, quarterly. So this, or not quarterly, every second, every two months. So after the end of February, these stamps, the cow, from the cow on, won't be available in the catalogs. So this is the Feathered Friends, and I love the birds. I thought, you know, they would be so cute to color up, not just for cards, but for, for journals. So um, I don't normally order the thinlets, but I ordered all the thinlets, it seems. So anyway, we've got the three birds. We've got a flower, a branch. That would be useful too. Hello, friend, thanks, and then a ticket shape opening to stamp your greeting in. And then these are the thinlets for that set. So I just felt this is a set I would use. And I really need to get making some cards, um, some thank you cards to send out. I'd like to send them out with my Etsy orders. And I'd really like to get them to send out if anyone orders from my Close to My Heart shop. Okay. I love fairies. I believe there's fairies. Um, I believe there's things in this world we just don't see. But anyway, this is Fairy Garden, and I, because of my granddaughter, I'd want to believe in magic. I really do. She thinks magic is so real. 
But anyway, we've got some cute little fairies. Oh, can you see those? And then some mushrooms. Mushrooms get used in journals a lot. And this says, Fairy Garden, please step carefully. And then we've got some fairy dust. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And pixies, wishes, and fairy dust kisses. Oh, we've got a butterfly. And we've got two other flowers here as well. So, And I ordered the thinlets for that. So this is something I could do with my granddaughter. Mind you, she's not that great at coloring yet. She'll color something and I'll say... I'll say, Nova, that looks beautiful. And she'll say, it's just scribbles, Grandma. <laughs> this is one I think I will love. This is called Barn Door. And this is incredible. Talk about adding texture to a page. So you've got one big plank of wood that you can stamp on your paper. Like, let's say you've got like a craft color paper and you stamp that on there. You could ink the edges up. You could use your um, your distress inks and shade in the edges before you do it. You've got this, two little planks, and then I've got the thinlets to cut the planks as well, which I don't know why I bought because that's a very easy shape to cut, but I must have been trying to get my $300 in that day. And Thinned Close to My Heart has catalogs online as well that you can look through. I don't keep catalogs at home because I don't, I don't ever use them. But this is one of their Stamp of the Months, and I'm not sure which month this is, and I should have looked it up. Um, do I have my Close to My Heart catalog still out? I don't think so. I, I, I think, yeah, I don't have it handy here. Oh, I lent it to my friend. I don't have it. So anyway, this is your hoot. And I love these owls. So we've got your hoot, owl, love you forever. You've got some wonderful owl images. Uh, little leaves blowing in the wind in a heart. Cool moon and a couple of stars. So that'd be fun colored up too. I haven't done much, done much with my markers the last few years. So, this is really sweet. This is sweet little things. And again, you'd have to look at the January, February catalog to see which months they are, these are for. But we've got the little um, bunny with his mama. And another, oh, these would be so cute. And a little bear. And look at the little mouse. Oh, he's so cute. Sweet little things. You are my greatest joy. You make me smile. You mean the world to me, and oh, happy day. So that's what's in that stamp set. And if you put an order in, this is an awesome deal to get your um, your stamp of the months. Then we've got stamp of the month. Here's the story. And this one has got your some shapes that you can use. Heritage, tradition, family, faith. Here's the story. I love you most. Established. And then it's got little numbers that you can put on your stamp pad to stamp out the year. I want to remember this. A family memory. Together we are family. Cherished moments in time. Seems like yesterday. And home is where the heart is. So that's it for the stamps that I ordered. This is part of their desk organization, um, and I bought this because my stamps are right on my desk. I, I always have stuff in front of the lower stamps, so I'm always moving stuff out of the way to get to my stamps. And I ordered this before I had the idea to put a shelf on my desk about a foot above my desk, but I, it'll still be good. So this will go underneath my stamp organization and it'll just lift them up enough so that I can get to the lower stamps because it always seems that one of those stamps is the one I want to use all the time. And I keep them in um, in color order. What do they call that? RGB, whatever, whatever. Okay, I downloaded this off the internet. Um, 
uh, close to my heart spell sell spectrum noir markers i have my my old spectrum noirs right here they're alcohol markers similar to a copic the difference with spectrum noir is they have a, a nib tip and you can buy a brush tip but you can actually go quite fine if you hold this marker down down low and you just kind of brush you can get a fairly fine point with the marker so they have a the nib tip and they also have the chisel tip close to my heart a few years ago I collaborated with spectrum noir and now they have three shades of color in a marker so you don't have to buy three different markers to shade with they're all in that one marker which makes it great for travel and i have mine packed away for when i go away if i want to bring anything to color so this is a color chart and unfortunately my printer is acting up but you put in your dark red shades marker and you color them in on the paper you're going to color with and then when you go to do something you bring this out and you look at it and decide which markers you're going to use because the colors don't always look the same as the color on your nibs um, i like to put them in a special way so when i pull them out these are the markers that when my nieces come out i let them use because the copics are way too expensive for them to use so then, I, oh, this was on sale last month, and I ordered it, um, okay, there, my camera's caught up. I ordered this because I have had this penmanship kit for the last year or so, and I haven't done anything with it. Excuse me, I'm going to open it up. I wasn't going to, but I haven't done anything with it because I hadn't, I, when you start working with it, what are you going to do when you don't have a binder for it? So let's put it in the binder. Sorry, if I had known I was going to do this, I would have done this beforehand. But I think it should go in the binder fairly easily. And this is to learn penmanship. Close to my heart, you can buy tracing paper anywhere, but Close to my heart actually sells this in a kit with markers and tracing paper. But you can put your tracing paper over top of her page. Ah, I got my page stuck here. There we go. Um, like here, she's got her tracing paper over top of the page, and you you practice. That's all this is. It's a practice book. You learn your basic stroke strokes, and then you go in. And she's got you practicing uppercase, lowercase. And as you go on, you're learning different scripts. And there are pages here that you can practice on as well for different lines. She's got, you know how those cool sentiments you see on cards? And, I, and we can use them in our journals too. But here, you can practice this with a, with a brush tip marker. I'll grab a Copic here. See, Copic has a brush tip, and with a brush tip, when you um, when you press harder, it goes thicker. So you can practice with tracing paper on that. I, I wouldn't recommend a Copic marker because that's going to bleed right through and be permanent. But um, anyway, so now I think I can use this. I've got my tracing paper. And I can start working on my penmanship. So we'll close it up. The only thing I, I wish it had is D-rings. I prefer D-rings in my binders, but that's just me. So then, this is my last close to my heart thing. I ordered a, scrap, a card making kit. They also sell kits. So it has everything you need in there to make cards. So here's the envelopes. This is the stamp set that came with this kit, and it also came with the thin cuts for it. And the stamp set you've got permanently after. So it's got um, kind of a moth type butterfly, a bird, another butterfly, and it, it, oh dear, happy birthday friend, thank you, hello, beautiful. It's got like a little trail. And then it's got the dies to go around those pieces and a little border that it comes with as well. So then <clears throat> you've got that to do your cards. And they also sell scrapbooking kits too. 
and they have a program um, that I think every three months you get um, you get a kit to make stuff. These are more envelopes for our cards. These are some little wood accents to go on your card. So these are all just little hearts. And you don't have to. You can buy the kit and you don't have to make cards with it. Here we have the card bases. And then we have the papers in this kit. So I don't remember... Sawyer, I think this card kit, this card, this paper is. It says on one side. Yeah, Sawyer. So um, you've got this sheet to work with. And this is the same. So you've got two of that sheet. And I think the rest is cardstock. And I know a lot of people, like my friend, doesn't like uh, what. Close to my heart cardstock because it's white cord. But if you have the same ink, you just ink the edges up and it covers up that. So anyway, we've got two sheets of white and this kind of dusty rose color. And then this wonderful mustard yellow and a little lilac color. So then included with your kit is the instructions, are the instructions, not is, the instructions to make these four cards. And I think you make 16, you make four of each design. So I think I'm going to do a video making some cards because I really want to make some cards um, to send out as thank you gifts. And I thought I, that's what I bought the kit, kit for. Um, I may not be able to use the same um, stamps. Like I'm not going to send, well, maybe I will send out a card to someone that I don't know. Hello, beautiful. You know, that would make their day. I don't want the happy birthday friend my dear friend you know thank you oh here's the thank you i need so anyway it gives you all the instructions how to cut your paper so that's the first thing i would do is cut all my papers up to the sizes and then it, it doesn't take long to do your cards and you're done so i think that's it for my close to my heart order um i did get my amazon one of my amazon orders in too yesterday and I'll show you this because I want to do some golden books journals everything takes me so long now. but um, and I've said I want to do three videos a week I don't know if that's going to happen with my health I'm really really struggling but anyway so I've got these little coin envelopes in different colors and I thought I could use them with little golden book journals just to have some nice bright colors. And if I knew how to put Amazon links, because I signed up for the affiliate program, but I don't know how to do the links. But um, I think maybe when I get more viewers, if and when I get more viewers, I will really try hard to do that Amazon affiliate and, and set up links for things I like to buy. In the meantime, though, I'm just got to focus on kind of keeping keeping my cool like um, not getting myself stressed out I think that's could be why I, this whatever this diverticulitis may be flared up because I was starting to get a bit stressed about getting videos out in a timely order and it was I don't do well with stress anymore so anyway I'm thinking my thoughts are right now that I will try to do that Margaret Miller video later today and post it on Sunday and that way there I don't get behind and I want my Taddy Treasures um, and collage type planner to go out on the Monday. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm kind of mumbling to myself. So anyway, um, I wish you lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.